When I think of Ida Jackson, I think of a leader. I think of someone who was willing to change um, the world. And she knew that if she used her Alpha Kappa Alpha sisters, we could make a difference and go further. And that's what she did to impact our community. In 1934, at her home in Washington, D.C., Norma Boyd hosts members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Xi Omega chapter. The sisters are excited in anticipation of the arrival of the guest of honor, Supreme Basilisk Ida Jackson. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Let me introduce to you Madam Supreme Basilisk Ida Jackson. <gasps> Jackson is on a mission, seeking help from these AKAs to start what will become the sorority's first national service program. One sister among those in attendance is critical to Jackson's plan. Dorothy Ferraby is a graduate of the Tufts University Medical School. She has her own private practice and is also a member of Howard University's medical faculty. Ferebi is the ideal person to serve as medical director for the project Jackson hopes to initiate. As the group takes their seats, Jackson explains that she spent time during the previous summer in Mississippi trying to establish an educational program for teachers. But after witnessing the poor health conditions of the people she encountered, she was devastated. The conditions for our people are something you would not believe. These people need help. And if we don't answer to their call, I don't know who will. Probably nobody. This modern world that we live in has yet to reach places in Mississippi. I saw shacks with no running water, no place to clean yourself, no place to wash your children. I saw people, our people, with no sense of modern medicine and, and nowhere to turn to for help. The place is backwards. It's sad. It's shameful. And we must do something about it. Now when Norma and those fine ladies organized Alpha Kappa Alpha. They made our credo to be supreme in service to all mankind. Those poor people of Mississippi need our help. This is a cry from the wilderness. And sisters, I know you hear it like I do. The silence following Jackson's talk is powerful, indicating that these sisters have every intention of helping Jackson with her health project in Mississippi. 